When was the last time you saw Sherry? Was the conversation not about wrestling? Um, I saw Sherry in Kingsport, I think, uh, a year before she passed away. And I went to, uh, to go see her specifically. And we took a picture, a uh, Polaroid picture. Um, and I don't know where it is. It's probably one of my files. But, yeah, uh, it, we just talked about old times. We talked about the one I broke my leg. And uh, we just caught up. Jake and Rock and Robin speak of their dad, Grizzly Smith, getting Sherry into the business. He made her wait until she was 21. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. Of all the things you hear about Grizzly Smith, making somebody wait till they're 21 is not something that right. you would expect to hear from him. Well, that's, that's why I haven't heard that, I guess. How did Cornette like Sherry? I think... Uh... Jim liked her very much. Some of the stuff I didn't know was about her son and stuff, and she kind of you know, wasn't the greatest mom in the world, let's uh, be honest. Well, we don't know the circumstances. I mean, everybody does the best they can, uh, but, you know, there's, there's circumstances. I, I came across a match. It was a mixed tag match where she's uh, in Houston, Texas, when she's just starting out as Sherry Russell. And... Um, She's so young and, and beautiful and and excited. And uh, you never know what happens to somebody like that. So we only know what we know. Barbara, I always like Sherry Martell. It was heartbreaking to see her son struggle and her final days. She left us far too soon. Well, her son was struggling? Yeah, I think he has throat cancer. Part of his tongue they had to take out. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's or, terrible. Or, or maybe it's mouth cancer, but yeah, there's, there's his tongue, and and you could tell his his face because if you look at WWE Hall of Fame when she was inducted, you know he looks healthy, and then they were interviewing here, he didn't he didn't look uh, he didn't look very healthy, and one of her friends had mentioned that he had uh, tongue cancer. Wow, well that's terrible. Interestingly enough, her friend Kathy Fitzpatrick. Booker T, a few times that I've seen him, always called her sister, and I never understood it. Now I now I finally, because she's Sherry's Mar Martell's best friend, I was like, oh, that's why. I, I never I never got it until I saw sister the documentary Sherry. of why he yeah why he always calls her friend sister. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. I can see that sister Sherry and sister. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sherry and Medusa had one of the best feuds in the AWA back in the nineteen eighties. Uh, I showed uh, some of their matches to the women who have come through JPWA and told them, watch how Sherry leads Medusa. I, I talked to Medusa about that, too. And uh, she told me that Sherry led her through all those matches. She was green, and uh, Sherry helped her a lot. Sherry pretty good in the ring as well, besides being a good manager and a good bumper. She was good in the ring. Yeah, she was great in the ring. If you couldn't have a good match with Sherry, you didn't belong in the ring, I thought. High praise. Uh, John Seaton, does Dr. Tom think Sherry was a better manager, valet, or wrestler? Loved the work ethic with Eric Embry. Your work ethic with Eric Embry. The work I did with Eric Embry. Work he did, I'm sorry. Work you did with Eric Embry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I thought Sherry was a great manager and wrestler. And I don't think she was better in one or the other. I think she was great at both. Definitely more recognizable and more memorable as a manager because of WWF, I think, and right. all the guys that she managed. Right. But she also wrestled. Uh, oh, yeah. She beat prior... Bula and everything. Yeah. 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 So, But I think she was equally as, as, as good as a manager and a uh, wrestler. I'll never forget Sherry, quote unquote, selling the no hold barred match. She worked with Hogan Savage, all the main events for years at a star. As a star. As a star, yeah. Well, that's what I think you meant. Yeah, yeah. I agree. She uh, she knew how to how to sell whatever was going on in the ring, whatever was going on around her. Um, she was great. She was perfect for this business. She was made for this business. Her and Macho were awesome together. 
Queen Sherry, Macho Kid. I feel like the, that pairing is great. Plus, you throw in their Hogan. Hogan throws around. She takes bumps and everything else. So her and Savage were awesome together. I agree. I thought and they were great. And she was very hateable when she would cut those crazy promos selling the match. Like, you wanted her to get her come up. Right. And that was her job. She did a great job. Jason, Sherry Martell's appearance with Savage and Zeus on the Arsenio Hall show was a fun watch. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's on YouTube. I have not seen it. Have you seen it? No, I got to check that out. I love, uh, there's an, another clip when Savage is kind of like a baby face and he's on our city and he's talking about how you can cry if you're a man. Like I've seen that one with, with, uh, macho. He was just a, awesome as, as like a guest on all these shows, but I got to see the one with Zeus. That sounds awesome. And our city yeah. is like a huge, huge fan. Yeah, that was good. He enjoyed wrestling. He loved having those guys on. Yeah. They would say when he would have other celebrities on, you know, like th th probably three guests and the wrestler is the, the one guest out, out of the three, that he'd pay more attention to the wrestlers than the other two people <laughs> combined, that he was very focused that. in on the wrestlers. Yeah, I can, I can see that. He definitely loved the business. Yeah, no doubt. Besides Sherry, who do you think was a great woman wrestler under the fabulous Moolah tree? Was Medusa under Moolah? Wow. Okay. Uh, Rock and Robin. Yes. Yeah, I thought Rock and Robin was great. Rock and Robin. Yeah. And obviously, Robin is on the um, dark side of the ring as well because she was close with with Sherry, and they wrestled a ton in in WWF. Yes, I thought she was a very good woman wrestler, competitor, or whatever you want to call her. Jake the Snake Roberts dated both Sherry Martell and Missy Hyatt, who also Dr. Tom dated. Have you heard any other lady wrestlers that Jake had dated? Now, dated is kind of a tricky word there, you know. I mean, does that mean – well, never mind. I think I know what it means. Um, yeah. No, I, I have not heard of anybody else that Jake has dated. 